trouble. How about cheering me up with one of your jokes? I'm afraid I'm not in much of a joking mood. You see, my wife died Christmas, and I just haven't been myself since. <laughs> Delightful chuckle. Oh, thank you. They're real, too. <laughs> Lionel Banks. Lionel like the train, Banks like money, and you are? Anastasia Beaverhausen. <laughs> Anastasia like Russian royalty. Beaverhausen like where the beaver live. <laughs> Dynamite. What brings you to this lush paradise, Miss Beaver Howl? Oh, I don't know, really. Just killing time, I suppose. Waiting for something good to happen. Interesting. I was just doing the same thing. Looks like my wait is over. Well, well. Where did you come from, Lionel? Did the smooth-talking gigolo convention let out early? <laughs> Listen, why don't we continue this in my very comfortable suite upstairs? I've got loads of cash, so time is no issue. Mr. Banks, you think I'm a hooker? <laughs> Body, those clothes, that voice? Yes. <laughs> as I am by that, I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. You don't have sex for money? No, I do not. Or jewels, for furs, for mixed securities, like a lady. <laughs> but for money, how dare you? A thousand apologies. I don't suppose there's any way you might forgive me for my highly inappropriate gaffe and... Allow me to buy you a drink. Well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Banks, but I don't think that's such a good idea. Is there a problem, my sweet? You're not married, are you? Well, as a matter of fact, 